homemade gummy bears and friends. Really easy to make. I used fresh berry puree, sour cream and lemon juice. It is all healthy and very nutritious. Great for children and also great project to do with the children. To make gummy bears and friends, of course you need uh, the mold. Uh, I have here frogs, bears, uh, I think it's lions and so on, monkeys, so different, uh, different animals. And I, I measured already for 45 gummy bears I need quarter cup of liquid. And of course it has to be mixed with a gelatin to make it. I have here two bags of gelatin. Manufacturer recommends to use one bag for cup of a liquid. I'm going to use a double two bags for one cup of a liquid. And later I will explain to you why. And first I'm going to start with gelatin because it takes a while, right? And this is one cup of cold boiled water. And I have to wait until it absorbs water and then I will warm it up to make sure it completely dissolves in water. And meanwhile I will prepare my ingredients. Here I will put red currant puree, black currant puree, lemon uh, juice that comes from preserved lemons. I have a video on that. I have on black currant puree actually a video, but red currant I made exactly the same way. And in this uh, dish I will make sour cream with a powderized sugar. I'll show you everything step by step. Dish, I, will, I have to add one eighth of a cup of my uh, whatever sauce, uh, fruit sauce, uh, berry sauce. You can use jam or any fruit juice because the total for each uh, for each mold I need a quarter cup, and this is a quarter a eighth of a cup. Sorry, and I will add it here. It already sweetened. I will leave a link on that video as well as a black currant puree video under. Now in this I will add red currant puree. I just made it yesterday. That's it. So here goes this one. Red currant puree. If you, if you will be using a jam, which also is fine, then make sure it is smooth. Some, sometimes the jam have um, little pieces of fruits or berries. Just make sure it is smooth. So this is black currant puree. So quarter cup, oh, sorry, eighth of a cup of sour cream goes here. And a little bit of powderized sugar I will mix. to make it sweet. Here I have powderized or confectioner's sugar and I think that much, it's about a teaspoon, right? Should be enough. And now it is time to prepare the mold. So how I prepare it? First of all, you have to remember they are very flexible molds are very flexible so after I pour all the liquids here I have to refrigerate so I cannot pick it up like that. For, for that I put some sur uh, hard surface under. I have here just a tray uh, but you can use a chopping board anything you want even plate one plate per each. Now how I prepare that into the bowl add a little bit of oil and with a brush just go inside of each in, inside each mold and wipe it. 
it will make it much easier to take it out. So that's how I will do with all four molds. Okay, so this part is done. Now I'll show you how gelatin looks. Okay. And now I'm going to just warm it up and keep an eye on it and, and wait until it completely dissolves. Do not bring it to boil because boiling kills the gelatin. You can see gelatin is completely dissolved and it is very just warm. I can easily touch the bottom of my saucer. I cannot hold it, of course, a long time, but I'm easily touching it. That is ready. Now, into each of this dish, eight over the cup, the same amount as I added uh, the purees and the juice. Exactly the same. So, eight cup of the gelatin will go into each. Mix here. When I use a half gelatin and half puree, the concentration of gelatin in that mixture becomes exactly as recommended by manufacturer because I use double bag in one cup of water. Now all I have to do is just pour it into the mold. One color for each mold. I have these four colors. You can do it with a spoon. I'll show you just like that. See, you can do it with a spoon or you can do it with a pipette that actually came with this mold. See, I'll show you. So that's everything I washed and I can try with that too. So it's either way. I think it's not faster or easy, just the same. Maybe for children this way will be easier and more fun to do with the pipette. So it's a, all done. Now all I have to do is just cover it with a plastic wrap and wait until it completely hardens and it will be safe to take them out of the mold. So I kept them in the refrigerator for about two hours. You can do less by the way. And now I want to take them out and uh, I will transfer. You see, they're all good. And now it is time to transfer them on the plate. So to take them out, you just have to invert it completely. See? Completely. See? That's how that works. Gummy bear. See how cute that is. And so some will break, but some will hold the shape. See? So this one is broken. That was my, my mistake actually. Because you cannot invert just part of the mold. You have to do whole thing. All of it. See, and then it jumps right out. See, it is important to do the whole thing, otherwise they break. And so on, I will continue removing them. And um, please, it's really easy to make and great project to do with the children. So hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. See you in my next videos. Bye.